this planet as we have all gathered like this in this place we have come to church and thousands and millions of believers around the world every Sunday as well they go to their respective churches to worship God but in as much as people are thronging to go to church it's though as if we are failing to ask ourselves what gave birth to the church because whatever gave birth to the church should maintain the church and if we as believers our presence in a building defines a church we must understand as well that whatever gave birth to the church and whatever maintains the church has the capacity to give birth to a believer and maintain a believer so when you go down to Luke 24 verse 53 you find a scripture there that says the disciples were in the temple making their supplications and giving thanks to God meaning they were praying when you further go down to Acts chapter 1 verse 14 it is said they were all seated in one place giving thanks and prayers to God when the Holy Spirit came and it is after the encounter of the Holy Spirit coming upon the disciples on the day of Pentecost that the Pentecostal movement was given birth to which means prayer and a concentrated and a disciplined prayer lifestyle of the disciples enabled them to give birth to a movement of the Holy Spirit that we are now calling the Pentecostal movement so it means the first way a man can discover God and experience God in their life is to understand the need of having a disciplined prayer life now a disciplined prayer life nowadays a lot of people think they have a disciplined prayer life but they don't understand what it means because they are celebrity prayer machines and prayer machines these are two different categories of people celebrity prayer machines are people that are riding on the fame of once being prayerful and prayer machines are people that are prayerful now so we have got individuals on earth that used to pray a lot even prophets that used to pray a lot and their prayer lifestyles then gave birth to God using them mightily and they became popular and they became known as men of prayer but once the popularity came the money came and the fame came they neglected the place of prayer they are dead spiritually but they are still received in nations in auditoriums as prayer machines and yet they are dead they don't pray and we have got people that pray and seek the face of God in the now those are genuine prayer machine so when I talk of you being a prayerful person I don't mean once praying before I mean a person that is committed to a consistent prayer life that is the person that will discover God here on earth in their situation a lot of you here say well look uh, prophet we don't want to waste time with you to be frank enough with you we do pray but the problem is we are not experiencing results in our lives so what it could be the matter there well you've done well let me explain to you it is without fault and it is worthy of full acceptance that every human being here on earth they pray because they desire a change over something in their life so when we pray for God's blessing would want to experience blessings afterward when we pray for God's protection would want to feel safe after the prayer when we, we we pray for God you know to deliver us would want to see you know our problems vanishing and going away so that we can rejoice that well God has answered our prayers but humanity our problem is when we pray and we don't experience results to prayers the devil succeeds in lowering our stamina in desiring to pray causing us to think that God is silent on our situation and that God does not answer prayer 
But God gave us a solution that is remarkable and that is worth of all acceptance. And that solution is that the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is filled with stories of men and women that prayed and God answered them. God did so purposefully so that the enemy will not deceive a child of God into thinking that there can be a possibility that God will not answer your prayer. When you look at it from Acts chapter 12 from verse 5, when Peter was taken into custody by Herod, it is revealed that the church prayed seeking the face of God and God answered that prayer by releasing a divine angel to go and hold Peter by his hand and pull him out of prison it is mentioned that when Peter go went to the house where the children of God were assembled praying for him when they first laid their eyes on him it is mentioned that they were all surprised that is the nature of God a man that may pray but does not receive immediate answer, but remains consistent in their prayer life. Sooner or later, God will surprise him. That is, the, that is the culture of God. He surprises us. So sometimes a surprise is best appreciated when it comes when we were not expecting. 